Fish, camel, giraffe, penguin, monkey. Uh, aquatic, desert, uh, terrestrial, broiling, yeah. polar. Polar Ar and arboreal. So these are not the habitats. Pete is Yukti. Fish, camel, giraffe, penguin, monkey. All of, the, of them. Uh, that uh, habitat. Different types of habitat. Aquatic habitat okay. is water. Dry and sandy place is desert in which camels live. Then forests and land terrestrial. Well, polar and ice areas are called uh, polar. And polar. trees are called arboreal. 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 This is not polar, it is polar. Po okay. Polar. Okay, so these are the five types of habitats that we talked about, but we started with the aquatic habitat. Okay. So which is the largest habitat? It is the aquatic or the marine habitat. Yes, very good. And so maximum life we will be able to see in the aquatic habitat. Marine now, habitat. then we had said, huh, but aquatic life also exists in fresh water, like ponds and rivers. Okay, like that is also aquatic. So wherever, wherever organisms live in uh, water, that is called aquatic habitat. Yes. So for that, they have to adapt themselves to different things. Yes, Himanshu, why, where were you for so many days? Himanshu, where were you for so many days? Um, in last class, I was not. I was not there only. No. In last class, kya usse pehle bhi aap, you have not been coming for a few times, I have realized. Ma'am, because there is no internet. Okay, now you have internet? Yes, ma'am. So why didn't you tell us that it is, it is over? You should have told us. Don't you remember? We had given some prize to some children. So Yukti, Harshal, Himanshu, all three of you, Anjali, Sonia, because you are very regular students. So we have given this award to you. So whenever net finishes, you should immediately let us know. We will talk. And it was for only it three months. It was initially for three months. So after three months, you should have told us. Is it over? The three months are over? Yes, yes sir. So once your net now gets over, you let us know. We will top it up for another three months. OK? OK, ma'am. Harshal, for you also. Anjali, Anjali, I think, has got it. Yes, yeah. But uh, Saksham, we will see if he, be, he remains regular for a full year. Then we will see whether we want to give him, award, give him an award or not. And Ananya also, we will see accordingly. OK? But right now, the older students who have been continuously doing our classes and being regular in, our, in their work and learning, we had given them this award. So you should inform us. OK? So now for equating, where is Sanjana also has not been joining Himanshu? Remember, I don't know. You should know. She is your sister. Ma'am, uh, uh, I didn't talk to her. Uh, my mother talked to her. So he then went to well, she went to uh, uh, um, other place. Okay. Like, uh, like she has no phone. She has no phone now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, tomorrow uh, from tomorrow she will. Okay, fine. So now, after that, what we had done was read this. I Ms. just Mike, quickly revise. No, I'll just quickly revise because I want to move on to the next adaptation. This was adaptation of animals, water animals. So we had examples. And for what do they 
adapt adaptation for breathing so that they are able to breathe properly they adapt for moving fast they have to adapt so they have streamlined bodies for waterproofing so that they don't feel wet all the time they have a slimy means they have covering. a climbing muscle yes covering for protection and for hunting they camouflage themselves okay so these Mom, are it's like crab. crab like crab yes camouflage so means camouflage means see they have wrapped to become like one means surrounding to be protected from the predators ha huh. but camouflage word means that you actually become supposing the i'm sitting on the wall so i'll make the i'll take the uh, color of the wall only so that my predators predators means people or animals or organisms which come and hunt us who eat us so if i become white like the wall then that predator will not be able to find me so i will be able to protect myself so one is for protection like a chameleon and yes now but that chameleon is not an aquatic animal we are talking about adaptation although these are common points for all adaptations general but for the aquatic animals camouflaging is done by the shark what does it do it actually the top the back of the shark becomes is black in color it makes keeps it black so that from the top it can't be seen then the lower portion of the uh, uh shark, shark is very light because the light is does not reach that portion so when it is going to attack it's whatever it wants to eat they also don't come to know because it is light like the water only they don't realize yes, the shark we can't see the shark in the water because uh, the color of the shark is like the water only yes so that that is camouflaging understood everybody yes ma'am okay then there are some more fishes like the porcupine then there is uh, uh angler fish yes, porcupine it is not there it is an animal ha huh. so even it's these are animals an what are animals not the big nose the, fish um, what was the name of those two fish lion king lion king and uh, stink fish they have uh, basically they have uh, uh, nail like structures coming out of their body so that they can protect themselves if somebody wants to come and eat them then these stick out and they get the person or the predator which is coming to eat them gets hurt okay okay ma'am hmm ananya understood Yes, ma'am. Yes, from a uh, fish are there in the deep in yes, the sea. What? Some animals are deep into the uh, so deep into the sea. Ah, huh. okay. See now, see this. Porcupine and squids. Porcupine has venomous spikes. So nail-like structures. Venomous means poisonous. venomous means poisonous zerily okay venom is poison so porcupines have venomous spikes so they save themselves and squids they give out an ink which can yes, blind the predator yes so these are different ways in which the water animals adapt themselves okay Oh, ma'am yeah. but uh, puffer fish also like that only na they have a uh, means poison in it ha huh. so it's not only one fish these are just examples so there will be many other fishes who have similar camouflaging uh, mechanisms okay yes ma'am ha huh. so of course you should learn more and more i am just giving you examples and letting you know what are Ms. the pirana Piranha. What what kind of an adaptation does it have? Yes. Tell me. Piranha adaptation. Let me see. For breathing, what is the adaptation that the animals have? Miss gills. 
They have Next gills. Thing. One is gills. What is the second thing? Nose. No, they have bigger lungs so that they can store mm -hmm. air inside them for a longer period. Remember? We said that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and piranhas also have razor sharp triangle shaped teeth. So their teeth are very sharp. So they use their teeth for defensive fish. It is a type of fish only. Yes, ma'am. It's uh teeth are very sharp. See this these this is piranha. Can you see? See, this yes, is just yes, look at its look at the look at the teeth. Means they are deep into the sea. They are deep in the sea, which is fine, but their teeth are for protecting them. Mm -hmm. They are triangular, sharp teeth, firanas. Yes, ma'am, they are very sharp. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go back. And I want now we will do adapt aquatic plants adaptation. How do the plants adapt? That is. So this Dark we have done, this all we have done till in the last class. Lion the fish, lionfish, the porcupine, porcupine fish, fish also has. So this is their defense mechanism. Miss, you have to uh, send a video of yeah. an of a aquatic animal which gets uh, into the plant of the sea. It is like an octopus. Huh. So octopus also is a water animal only. Which which one did I send? I don't yes, remember. Yes, sir. That, that uh, it is very previously video. Uh, you have said that long uh, back. I had sent just for information. Yes, yes I remember. That okay. So now today, write down in your notebooks the date and how do plants adapt to aquatic habitat? So there are lots of plants also under the sea. Now. What is the adaptation that the plants follow? That also we should see. Okay. So today's date is 2nd August 23. So we are doing the aquatic habitat. We have finished with the animal adaptation in the aquatic habitat. Today we will do plant adaptation. Okay. How do plants change to be able to survive in the water? Plant adaptation. So we'll watch and let me now give you turns. So first is Yukti, second is Ananya, third is Saksham, fourth is Harshal, fifth is Anjali. Anjali, do you have Sonia also with you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sixth is Sonia, seventh is uh, Asad, no, 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 seventh, is, seventh is Himanshu, seventh is Himanshu, eighth is Asad. Okay, yes, everybody fine yes. with this to these turns? Okay, yes. now let's quickly do this, watch it very carefully. I'll be asking questions you need to answer. Okay? Chalo. Be alert, everybody. I can ask anybody else also, but it is yes. your case yes. right now. Up to the aquatic habitat, let us see. In the aquatic plants, the underwater stem and the leaves are long and narrow so that the plant can withstand even the strong water currents and don't break easily. The floating plants have air chambers which help them to float. For example, the water hyacinth. You know, the leaves of the floating plants are big and they have the waxy covering which make them waterproof. For example, the water lily, lotus. So remember okay we'll go to this later first yukti what did you understand plant adaptation for what all are they adapting hmm. the stems are fleshy stems are flexible not fleshy flexible why are they flexible and long why 
to why are they flexible and long they are flexible and long because wait everybody hmm. yeah you tell me huh Oops. so they can so they they can uh, float on the water nahi so that okay who had raised saksham tell me so that we can't remove them ha huh? so that we can't remove them no ma'am please yes saksham tell me so that ma'am so that uh, the waves of the water can't uh, means remove break the them plant. break them so oh, that they them. can be uh, stable yes they can be stable which means and not drown by the water not get drowned we'll say not get drowned by water currents okay Okay. What is the other adaptation, Ananya? Yukti, you understood this? Why yes, the stems are flat? So what is it? I was, ma'am. I was meaning that only. Means I want to tell that only. Hmm. You wanted to tell that only, but you did not find the right words to say. Doesn't yes, matter. Good. Never mind. Yes, Ananya. What about you? What What is the other adaptation that they have made? Ananya, where are you? Come on quickly. Ananya is not in. Ah, oh, she is in the class. Ananya, mute yourself. Let's not waste time. Okay, Yukti, you only tell. Ma'am, the surface of the leaves and stems are covered with a waxy layer. Huh. and the leaves also have sorry stems also have uh, some chambers air chambers so mm. they can float on water mm. uh, and okay if i can tell okay yes tell hmm. miss uh, the uh, the leaves have the waxy coating on them that anyway she said ha huh. what else mm. and ma'am the water can't, can't enter on the leaves huh the big exactly. whales also come but the water can't enter on the leaves because of the waxy coating yes like the animals also they have a slimy coating these these plants have a waxy coating so we can say what uh, yukti had said the same thing only you repeated the leaves are Have a, have, have a waxy covering. Have a waxy covering on them, and they also have. Uh, no, that will be, that will be the third point. That will be the third point. The leaves have a waxy covering, so that water does not get. absorbed which means they become waterproof yes, okay and yes. the third so, point is for example for them. example we can say leaves of lotus, lotus plants lotus flower and the third point was uh, they have uh, air chambers ah uh, they It's some plants chamber. not all Not all, some floating plants. Yes, floating plants have air chambers in them, so mm. that they can easily float in water. Okay, in them. Ma'am, one so, more point is there. Okay. So. What? What is that? Mm. Float in water. 
for example, hyacinth. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What the hyacinth? Ma'am, the ah. leaf, the its leaves are very big, so so that uh, it has protection. So they have large leaves. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, example was lotus the and same. water lily. Lotus ma leaves only and water lily also. They have large leaves. To help them float. For example, water lily and lotus. Yes, water lily and Ma lotus. Water lily is a type of flower. It is a plant. Let me show you the image. Miss, there Wait. is a flower also on that. Yes, they have white flowers, and lotus is mostly pink. But water lilies. Miss purple, I think so. White also they have. Yes, ma'am. Uh, see, these are white. Miss, these are purple see. also. They're absolutely right. So they are ma purple we also. Ma'am, we can't see. Oh, sorry. So let me first just. Forget about the diagram. I'll just write water lily and show you the plant only. See, these are water lilies. So beautiful. They're blue, purple, pink, white. Yes, ma'am. So pretty. And now let's look at uh, lotus. These are also similar color, but the shape is different. And you see oh, their no, leaves. No. Hyacinth, hyacinth. I'll show you that also. Ma'am, hyacinth is a long flower. Is it a long flower? Yes, ma'am. Ma yeah. yes. Just look at it. So pretty. Even I didn't know what a hyacinth looks like. Yes, And these are water flowers. Beautiful. So pretty. OK. So now let's move ahead. OK? Enough of this. So now there were two types of aquatic habitat, freshwater and marine. Okay. Ananya, are you there? You're not interacting at all, not understanding anything? Ananya, where is she? Has she just logged in and for just logging in purpose? She's not there. Okay. So next, whose turn is it? Be ready. Whose turn is it now after Ananya? Taksham, huh? Yeah. Ma'am, what is marine habitat? Marine habitat. Marine, we call it that we had done last time. Marine habitat habitat is aquatic habitat is called the marine habitat. Name. Aquatic habitat is freshwater as well as marine. Two types of marine is the sea water and ocean water in which water is not potable water is not, not potable potable p o t a b l e potable means drinkable yes ma'am we I cannot drink so that is the marine habitat it has too many too much salt too many minerals and salt is because there is sand under the sea huh not only because of that, generally the, that water is uh, mostly polluted with minerals and too many things which we cannot drink and it is very salty. Fresh water habitat is the portable water. Man, which is drinkable for the fishes. Yes. So, so basically, who can tell me how much two-thirds, two-third or one-third of the... 0 0.3. Nay, how much of the earth is water? Well, 70 70 70%. Huh? 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. Okay, 70%. Out of that 70%, 1%, out of this 70%, only 1% is 
is is drinkable water portable ah. 0.3 i think so now you can convert this 70% and 1% of 70% into fractions in your maths class today and ask sir how much it turns out to be okay okay and ma'am yes? 93% is glacier 93% kaise glacier out of this okay out of the 70% 93% is ice form mein, glaciers okay Okay, now let's listen to it. Let's go further. Children, the aquatic habitat consists of the freshwater habitat, that is the lakes, ponds, rivers, etc. having fresh water. And the marine habitat, that is the sea and oceans having saline or the salty water. Both the aquatic plants and the animals have to adapt themselves to live in the aquatic habitat. That was all about the amazing aquatic world. Bye okay. bye children. So we've done the aquatic. Finished with that today. Okay. We'll go to the next habitat. Mom desert. Let's see which one. Huh? There is still habitat. I don't know which one, whichever comes up, we'll do that. Good forest morning, habitat. children. Today we... So forest, forest is terrestrial. terrestrial only. Yes. So, Saksham, be careful. I'll be asking we you. We shall learn about different types of forest and the life existing there. We have already learned about the aquatic habitat. Aquatic habitat consists of the marine habitat, that is the sea, ocean and one second i want to check the pronunciation of aquatic whether it is aquatic or aquatic i don't want to leave you with the wrong pronunciation so let us see aquatic Aquatic. So I was right. Aquatic. Don't say aquatic. R listen to it again. Aquatic. 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 Okay. Aquatic. 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 Yes. Now let's go back. I was also getting confused after hearing the wrong pronunciation, but it's okay. The videos are excellent. And they give us a lot of and information. Also the freshwater habitat, that is the lake, ponds, rivers, etc. Most of the creatures on the earth live in the aquatic habitat. But the diversity of life in the terrestrial or the land habitat is vast too. There are many kinds of terrestrial So, uh, Saksham, do you know what? Diverse diversity. What does that mean? Diversity is vast. What does that mean? In the terrestrial habitat, separation of uh, different habitat uh, land. Diversity means diverse means very good. Be separated. Different differences. Yeah. There are so many differences, and there are there is so so we 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 don't call it differences. Basically, we'll say different types of different types of we can say organisms, adaptations, life, different type of life in the terrestrial habitat is also law. It, diverse means lots of different types of life. Lots of different types of life, okay, which exist in the terrestrial. Okay, you had an inkling, you were right, but let's see now. So in the terrestrial, what kind of habitats do we have? 
Ma'am, please show the video. Hilly, hilly regions, extremely hot and dry deserts, etc. And you know, the animals living in the different habitats overcome the hardships in its habitat in different ways. So let us see the different types of forests. We all know the forest is a large area covered with trees. So now if you really look at it, uh, Saksham, can you tell me one thing? When we are talking about desert, is it yes. a type of a terrestrial habitat or not? It is, ma'am. It is. Very good. So all these polar, desert, forest, grasslands, all these are different types of terrestrial Terrific. habitats. Okay. And which, are, which is the habitat that we are going to talk about today is forest. Now, even in the forests, there are different types. So that's what we said, different types. There are so many different types of habitats, even in forest, just the forest. So the first one which we are doing is, what is it called? Forest. No. Yes, Saksham, what did you say? Tropical forest. Yes, okay. So we'll just say forest habitat. And the first one that we are doing is tropical forest let's see what what is diff, what is typical to this tropical forest let's tropical forest or this itself should give you an idea what is this saksham rainforest so what what do you think tropical forests must be having a uh, high uh, high rain uh high rainfall what will that make the atmosphere like if there is too much water and too much rainfall uh, green green to ho gai. what else see there's something written here hot and humid weather ah so bahut sari humus ho jayegi. and hot and humid rain uh, weather and high rainfall so okay yes. but all the forests are not same. In the tropical regions near the equator, there are rainforests. It is called the rainforest because it receives very heavy rainfall, more than 200 centimeters yearly. Also, the climate is very hot and wet. Generally, the temperature is between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. It is full of evergreen trees and orchid flowers. Okay, so now who will, yeah, what is tropical forest or rain forest? Can you tell me what we can write about it if somebody asks us to write a note on tropical forest or rain forest? Its weather is hot and humid. Uh -huh. uh, it contains highly rainfall in it. Weather highly rainfalling. Its weather is hot and humid. And it receives a lot of rain. How much rain? 2,000 uh, meters. 200 centimeters. 2,000. Uh, 200. No. And what else? What is the temperature like? Uh, 25 degrees Celsius to 27. No. Temperature ranges between... 25 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius and the plants remain green and which orchid and orchids grow in the rainforests. 
Now, next, I'll ask somebody else. Miss my turn. Which, it is. Okay, Harshal. Which, which uh, area are tropical or rainforests form, found in? Miss Chera Punji. No, near these forests are found near the Man lakes, rivers. No. Miss I have equator. I have yes. Okay. So these forests are found near the equator. Chirapunji also must be a tropical rainforest, also. Yes, because, ma because there is a, a whole day rain only. Oh my god, we have been to Chirapunji and we have faced that in the rainy season. So much rain, my god. Yes, ma With, because the temperature of the Chirapunji is wet. Because it is very the climate rain. is like that. It is a rainforest and lots of rain. It has the maximum rainfall in the whole world, I think. Chirapunji. No, ma'am, okay. in India it is. Really? I don't know. There is a rainforest, Amazon rainforests. Yes, yes. ma'am, there also it is. It is the biggest rainforest. It is the biggest rainforest. Well, there right. is pink dolphin also in, in there. Okay, now let's listen listen to the video further and then Arshal, I'll ask you. Okay. A variety of animals are found there like the monkey, gorilla, tiger, jaguar and many colorful birds too like the macaw, parrot, etc. Now the question is, how do animals adapt to the rainforest habitat as the climate is hot and wet throughout the year so let us see lots of animals live in the rainforest so the danger and the competition for food is high few animals use the camouflage that is merge with their surroundings with the help of their shape and color to protect themselves for example the stick insect is so thin and like a stick that it is hard to see it against the tree bark. And then there are leaf insects. A leaf insect just looks like a leaf. Hence, it is able to hide itself easily in the plants. Even the carnivores use the camouflage. But they use it to stay unnoticed by the prey when they are trying to attack the prey. For example, the tiger with the stripes hide behind the trees and bushes. Some animals develop special food habits. To okay. So what are the different camouflaging techniques? First tell me, whose turn is it? Miss my. Huh. So what, what type, which animals? live in the rainforests with jaguars okay. tiger monkeys okay. gorilla monkey and the... gorilla ja jaguar tiger and then birds also like and macaw. colorful birds like macaw and parrot hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, adaptations. Which is the first technique for adaptation? Adaptations of plants and animals, both they said. Which is the first technique? Tell me, Harshal. Miss, to hide. First, huh? They use it for hiding or for yes, hunting and for uh, defense hunting. and defense. Uh, yes, ma'am. Like uh, tigers, mm. they 
uh, they hide behind the trees. We say camo floats. Flooding technique. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And ma'am, the leaf uh, insect also. It is. For example, uh, stick insect first. Insect. Yes, ma'am. Stick insect. Miss, it Which, uh, can't hmm. see on the stem. It is like it a is stem only. Like the bark of the tree. Stick insect yes, looks like the bark of the tree. Uh, so cannot be spotted. And ma'am, leaf, uh, leaf insect also. Uh, mm -hmm. There, uh, he hides under the water, and the upper part of the insect can be. It is like a leaf no, only. Water, kya? Leaf insect looks like a leaf only, so yes, cannot be spotted. And lions or tigers, they hide behind the trees. Huh. So there, if you look at the, the stripes and everything. Matches the surroundings. Yes, ma'am. Tigers um, skin matches the surroundings. The forests, forests, you know. So yes, they cannot be spotted. Hmm. Okay. Next, after they, you they use... hide because they have to hunt their prey. Ah, they are tigers. Tigers for hunting, stick insect and leaf, leaf insect for their self-defense, to protect themselves. Yes, I'm from okay. Whose turn is it after you now? Next. Ma'am Anjali. Anjali, your turn. Hmm. To eat what others cannot eat. Like the parrot has strong curved beak to crack the nuts, and the ant eater eats the ants, etc. Now, how do plants adapt to the? Okay. Now, first, we just talked about. Uh, now you tell me, Anjali, which is the other adaptation? This was for hunting and defense. Second one. For. Adaptation for Anjali, tell me for where is Anjali? Yes, ma'am. Ah, Zor se bolo bitte. Be a little louder. So, what do they do? Which adaptation? Ek to apne aap ko for self defense tha, for hunting tha. Dusri adaptation kya hai? For eating. Uh, what do they do for eating? Okay, who's the Sonia? Can you tell? I can't hear both of you. After you, who's done is it? Ma'am, my turn. Okay. Bolo in my. Ma'am, parrot can crack nuts and eat. So, parrots have a strong beak. Yes, ma'am. To crack? Nuts. Uh, to crack nuts or? Tusra kya tha? Ma'am, nuts. Huh? Then, uh, then nuts. crack nuts to ho kya? Yes, Arshal, can you answer? Means they eat ants also. So ant eaters eat ant. So those are different it's animals. Ah, okay. 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 Ant eaters eat ants. Now let's watch again. And Himanshu, what are we going to do? How do plants adapt in the rainforest? Listen to it. Rainforest habitat. Let us see. The top branches of the tall trees form a dense umbrella like cover 
called canopy. This canopy prevents the sunlight from reaching the floor. Hence, very few plants are able to survive on the rainforest floor. There are few plants like the strangler and the lianas etc which try to reach the sunlight by creeping up the nearby trees. You know the leaves of the rainforest trees have special pointed tip. This is because the rainwater runs down the leaf easily. Okay, so what are the plant adaptations, Himanshu? In the top branches, the top branches, and the top trees. The top branches, the branches, the bra top branches of trees uh, and covered with leaves. They form an umbrella-like structure. Yes, they form an umbrella-like. They are called canopy. Canopies. Structure canopies. called canopies. Why are they? Why do they do that? Because they prevent uh, uh, the land of. They prevent it's, the land of uh, sunlight. The land of sunlight. This prevents the sunlight from to reach the land. From reaching the land. Okay. So what okay. what is the effect of that? What? So, but plants need sunlight not to grow. So very yeah. few plants uh, uh, grow on the forest, on the... forest land. Yes. Some plants which grow, what do they do? Ma'am, they crept on other Creep trees. Up. Uh, some creep up uh, on other trees to reach uh, the sunlight. Uh, some creepers climb up the trees to reach sunlight. And what else? Ma'am, they call strangler. Uh, they are the they are called for example stranglers and another name also they had said for example stranglers anything else there was another one which we saw there was another modification what was it Leaf modification. What was the leaf modification? Tell me. You remember whose turn is it after you? The leaves. Whose turn is after you, Asad? Yes. Ma'am. Ma'am, I, Saksham, and Anjali are only there. Where is everybody gone? Ma'am, they left. Sabke problem ho jati hai kya? Ananya is also not there. Okay, Anjali, you tell me. Hmm. Try to unmute and say. Anjali, you've raised your hand also. Unmute. Ma'am, I raised hand. Sonia, okay. Yes, Sonia, you tell me. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, the, the leaves have a special structure. Uh -huh. for, what kind of structure? Ma'am, drip tip. Uh -huh. The leaves have tips. Ma'am, a pointed tip, it, it is called okay, drip pointed tip. Pointed tip, we'll call it pointed tip. Yes, pointed tip so it. that so that rainwater will slope can drip down yes ma'am 
it will Maybe not remain on leaf only hmm. okay okay acha sonia now your turn listen properly aage okay. leaf modifier so this is called a drip tip okay let's write that down to wo leaf kaisi hai we have a leaf which has a pointed so this is called a drip tip okay now sonia leaves of the rain forest trees have special pointed tip this is because the rain water runs down the leaf easily this tip is called the drip tip and it prevents the leaves from rotting you know the world's largest tropical rain forest is the amazon rain forest amazon found in the heart of south america the vast forest of the congo basin is the second largest tropical rain forest on the earth and it is in the heart of africa another rain forest is the dane tree rain forest it is the largest continuous area of tropical rain forest on the australian continent now okay. let us okay so we'll just do the tropical forest today but first give me the examples then temperate forest we'll do next time ha huh. yes sonia yes ma'am which is the largest ma'am the amazon amazon forest is the largest in forest okay amazon where is it ma'am it's in america south of america south south, south, america. south america. very good which is the next largest second largest second largest is congo bass congo basin in africa Cong congo basin rain forest in africa. in africa and third africa dane tree ma'am dane tree dane tree dane, dane tree or dane tea Dentry, ma'am. Dentry, Dentry, Dentry. Yes, Dentry is where? In Africa. Ma'am, on continent of America. No, Australia. Okay, Australia continent. Ma'am, it's in Australia. Yes. So one is in South South America. The other one is in Congo Basin. The third one is. the second one is congo basin in africa third one day tree in australia okay shall we do the temperate forests also again yes, now yes ma'am okay chalo whose turn is it now rasik has also joined yes ma'am so what are temperate forests we have to understand that first now in central europe the forest tropical rain forest on the australian continent now let us see a different type of forest in east north america northern asia western and central europe the forest of deciduous trees like the maple oak elm etc can be found why deciduous trees the temperature here becomes too low in the winter as low as minus 30 degrees celsius so the plants shed their leaves once a year mostly in the winter so that snow cannot get settled on to it okay Type so but forest. where are the temperate the forests east. now who can tell me hmm. and in asia europe and yes saksham tell hmm. tell 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 you had raised your hand and i made to ask for the before question i forgot to unraise my hand 
Okay. Fine. So we will anyway write. Whosoever remembers can tell me. So what are we doing now? Temperate forests. Temperate forest. What kind of temperature is there in temperate forests? Minus 30 degrees Celsius in the winter. Can go up. So, okay. So the temperature can go up to? Minus 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. What else? They are found in? America. Snowy region. Found in East America. Huh? East America, Asia, Europe. Hmm. Europe. Okay. What kind of trees does it have? They have? Apples and oak. They have deciduous trees. Those trees are called deciduous. Um, deciduous means... Hmm. Like oak and... People. People. People also is deciduous? Yes, ma'am. So what happens? The deciduous trees, they... Shed their leaves, shed their leaves once a year. So these are those are rainforests and these are deciduous forests. And what do we mean by deciduous? Deciduous. Ma'am, I think so. It is a region. No, it is this only. What I just wrote on the... It is basically... Deciduous trees are those which shed their leaves once a year. Shed their leaves means they, all their leaves fall off. So they become bare, like the oak and the people. Okay? And the, such trees are found in temperate forests, where it is cold. Okay? Understood? Yes, ma'am. Fir se suno. Listen to it again. Discontinuous area of tropical rainforest on the Australian continent. Now let us see a different type of forest. In East North America, Northern Asia, Western and Central Northern Europe. Northern Asia. The forest of deciduous Western trees. Western and Southern Europe. Okay, we should note that down. So it is... East America, North and North Asia, they said. Western and Northern Europe. What did they say? Did anybody hear? Tell me, which are the areas? A different type of forest in East North America. East North America. Northern Asia, Northern Asia, Western and Central Europe, Western and Central Europe. Okay. So, Western and Central Europe. Or Asia, Konsa tha? North Asia. North Asia and North East North America. Okay, so East North America, North Asia, Western and Central Europe. These, these are the places where these deciduous forests are found, which are called the temperate forests. Okay, so I think we will stop the class here only till details of the temperate forest and the adaptations of the plants and everything in the deciduous forest we'll do in the next class. Okay? Okay, ma'am. If you want, you can... If there is a hurry, somebody's exams are coming or something is there, you can watch the video yourself and learn. Okay? Okay. In case you want to do it. Yes, I'll
assigning it, but next time we shall complete it. So let me just stop the recording first.